Good day everyone. I am Vincent and today I'll be presenting the FM200 fire suppression system of Asenware. To begin with, what is the FM200 system? The chemical name for FM200 is heptafluoropropane and is also referred to as hydrofluorocarbon. It is manufactured by Chemours under the trademark FM200. FM200 is a colorless compressed liquefied gas used to extinguish fires and is popular replacement for Halon fire suppression system. FM200 fire suppression systems are pressurized with nitrogen waterless and upon activation discharges as a gas to suppress the fire. The FM200 system is ideal for areas occupied by personnel and containing assets that could be damaged by water such as data centers, telecommunication facilities, UPS rooms, control rooms, electronics, machinery, medical facilities, and equipment. The low concentration of agent required and low toxicity means less visual obscuration and minimal risk to people. The system fights Class A. Those are the fires involving solids such as paper, cardboard, common, common in offices and manufacturing. Class B fires, those fires that are involving liquids such as liquids and chemicals used in workplaces like solvents, fuels, adhesives and paints. Class C fires, those fires that are involving gases such as LPG or other types of gases forming a flammable or explosive atmosphere. Why use F FM200 suppression system? Most of the fire suppression agents are known to cause a damage to things, property that, sh that they should be protecting such as a sprinkler system, fire extinguisher system and fire hose system. In case of FM200, an odorless and clear gas is released which does not leave behind any residue nor it wets anything it touches. As the gas starts fighting the flames, it does not harm anything else but only disrupts the flames and makes them subside very quickly. Thus, in order to save precious goods and items from every kind of damage, the FM200 gas is the best agent. How does FM200 suppression system works? In the event of fire, FM200 reacts instantly to suppress the fire from spreading within 10 seconds and prevents it from ignition. The synthetic gas that makes up the FM200 extinguishes the fire by removing the heat element from the fire triangle. The fire triangle are consists of oxygen, heat, fuel, and chemical reaction. The FM200 removes the heat element that extinguishes the fire. Benefits of using FM200 system. It is waterless and clean. Easy to clean up, safe for people and environment, don't leave any residue that damages people. Compared to other fire suppression system, FM200 does not damage your property. Unlike the water-based su water suppression systems that can leave the entire fire area dripping wet, Electronics and paper products can be ruined or it may, it may just make some tedious potentially expensive cleanup. On the other hand, FM200 is completely waterless and doesn't result in those kind of consequences. General information of FM200 system. FM200 is stored as a liquid in a cylindrical tanks. Um, from a different sizes from um, 20 liters up to 150 liters upon actuation FM200 travels as two phase flow through the distribution pipe work enters the, enters the hazard through a network of nozzles as a gas extinguishes the fire and prevents ignition 
designing of FM200 suppression system. The room needs to be sealed adequately to maintain the gas and prevent the ignition. The doors and windows must be closed before discharge. This is to ensure that the chemical will, will stay for a short period of time to ensure that the fire will not be reignited. Cylinders need to be inside or fairly close to the protected area. This is to um, lessen the cost and usage of large pipe and to lessen the um, and to decrease the discharge time of the chemical. Information needed in designing FM200 system. Design standard fire class, hazard volume or um, room volume, hazard altitude, hazard or room temperature minimum to maximum, agent cylinder location. How to design an FM200 suppression system? Step 1. We need to identify the room, length, width, and height. Um, in this sample, I'll be using a UPS ah, server room uh, with a length of 10 meters, width of 5 meters, and the height of 3 meters. As you can see, the total room volume here is to get the total vol to, to get the total room volume. You need to identify the room volume um, subtracted by the solid object volume. The room volume is length times width times height and by my sample, it is a 10 by 3 by 5. Solid object volume is 0 cubic meters since there are no solid object here in the sample such as beam, duct, pillar, or any permanent solid object in the room. Therefore, my total room volume is um, 150 cubic meter. Step 2. Minimum agent concentration. We have fire classification and UL listed. Class A are surface fires. Class B flammable, flammable liquid fires um, referred to NFPA 2001. And Class C are energized electrical fires. In my sample, we use a server room wherein it is a energized electrical fires. Therefore, minimum agent concentration is 7.2%. Step 3. FM200 gas quantity. This is the formula in getting the, um, the agent required in the room. As you can see, WA weight of agent required in kilogram V is the volume, room volume in cubic meter. S is the specific vapor volume in cubic meter per kilogram. Where S is 0 0.01269 plus 0 0.005 T. Where the T is the temperature cubic meter per kilogram is their unit. Uh, T uh, room design temperature in degrees Celsius. Um, usually we are using um, 21 degrees Celsius as as a reference. C is the required agent design concentration. Um, in our uh, formula, it is already formulated in our Excel um, in the BOQ Excel file. Um, in here, in my sample, um, by entering the volume here, we get the 83 kilogram of the chemical agent. Therefore, we are using a 83 kilogram. Step 4. Adjust quantity of agent with altitude correction factor. Altitude factor, atmospheric correction factor. Um, it is the altitude above or below sea level. It also affects the agent concentration as ambient pressure var varied more than 11% equivalent to approximately 3,000 feet of elevation change as it will expand more and fill more space when FM200 is released above sea level 
in result is opposite for, for the hazard at below sea level means more agent is needed. In my sample, um, I use the, uh, we, I assume the sea level is zero. Therefore, well, the correction factor is one. Therefore, a uh, total weight is the weight of agent times altitude correction factor, whereas 83 kilograms times one. Therefore, um, 83 kilogram of agent is the total weight we are need for the room sample. Step five, cylinder selection. After agent quantity has been determined, suitable tank need to be selected. It is suggested that for estimation purpose, choose the tank with 75 to 80 percent of maximum filling to avoid any hydraulic issues. In my sample, if we use if we use a 90 liters um, capacity of cylinder tank. As stated above, um, we have to choose we have to use 80% um, of maximum filling to avoid any hydraulic issues. If I multiply the 90 liters to by 18%, we get 72 liters, which is less than the which is less than the um, total weight of our, our agent chemical agent needed, which is um, 83 kilograms. If we use the, um, the 120 liters and multiply it by 80%, we get 96 liters. Therefore, it is more suitable to use as it is also between the minimum and maximum um, capacity of the tank filling. Which is here, um, by 120, we have minimum filling of 60 kilograms and maximum of 120. And 83 kilograms is between those figures. This, uh, these are the tank fill range. Um, the highlighted part is the 120 liters. Nozzle distribution. Nozzle can be installed up to a maximum of 305 below ceiling. Nozzle from the finished floor line is 5 meters. Maximum nozzle per system is 20 nozzle. Um, also, on uh, rule of thumb in um, Quantifying a nozzle is 200 pound per one nozzle. Step 6. Estimate pipe sizes. In step, step 4, we identified that the, the total weight is 83 kilograms. So, to estimate the pipe size, we have to divide the total weight by 10 seconds. Please note that 10 seconds is the normal design discharge time of FM200 suppression systems. 83, divided, 83 kilograms divided by 10 seconds is, is equal to 8.3 kilograms per second. Um, as per table 0.3, 8.3 seconds is, uh, please see the highlighted in yellow, the minimum flow rate is 7.8 and the maximum flow rate is 12.2 um, kg per second. 8.3 is be, um, between those two, therefore we are using a 50 millimeters pipe size. After calculation um, is completed, we have to prepare for the bill of material. FM200 um, suppression system components. As and where FM200 cylinder tanks. FM200 is stored in a steel pressure vessel as a super pressurized liquid to, li to, liquid to 25 or 42 bar. 21 degrees degrees Celsius tank. Tank consists of discharge valve assembly and fitted with sif siphon to tube. All tanks can be filled with multiple increments. FM200 stored pressure cabinet type 25 bar or 2.5 megapascal, manifold type 42 bar or 4.2 megapascal. 
these are the table of um, cylinder tank sizes from 20 liters 4.2 megapascal up to 150 liters 4.2 megapascal as and where discharge valve the discharge valve the discharge valve assembly is equipped with pressure gauge burst disc and a supervisory pressure switch connection for optional monitoring of the cylinder pressure whenever the pressure of the tank goes down it will give the signal to the panel immediate action is needed in addition each cylinder valve assembly is provided with an actuation port cap and a valve outlet protection that must be installed on the discharge outlet whenever a cylinder is not in service to avoid any accidental damage or discharge which could cause serious injury to personal property caps are provided in our BOA bill of material discharge valve is same quantity of our cylinder tanks but it can also be ordered for the field replacement or as a spare it is made of brass also um, these are the description and part number of the discharge valve for BOM um, we use 20, 32 millimeters nominal pipe size for 20 liters to 90 liters chemical agent and use 40 mm nominal pipe size for 120 liters up to 150 liters chemical of agent pneumatic control actuator pneumatic operated actuator are utilized to release the FM200 gas it is mounted over the discharge valve of the FM200 tank and connected through pneumatic tube to pilot tank um, for our BOM we also use this as the same quantity of our FM200 tank discharge hose also known as high pressure soft tube it connects the discharge valve to manifold discharge hose is flexible type to give damping effect during high pressure discharge and maintain the integrity of manifold moreover during discharge it cancels the effect due to cylinder movement it is constructed of corrugated stainless steel and tubing with stainless braid cover cabinet hose is shipped with supervisor switch for BOM also um, use 32 mm nominal pipe size for 20 liters up to 90 liters agent and use 40 mm nominal pipe size for 120 liters up to 150 FM 200 chemical agent manifold check valve also known as liquid non-return valve for multiple hazard system to ensure that the gas flow in one direction agent check valve is to be provided it also prevents the block back flow to the tank this check valve can be used in between main and reserve system for BOM also use 32 mm nominal pipe size for 20 liters to 90 liters agent for 120 liters up to 150 use 40 mm nitrogen pilot pilot tank assembly and end to gas container valve though fm200 is at high pressure even though nitrogen is to be provided to improve its discharge characteristic nitrogen is stored in a steel tank as driving gas 5 liter capacity of nitrogen tank is connected to fm200 tank through pneumatic line an electric control actuator is mounted on the top of nitrogen tank to release nitrogen in case of the fire it can be operated manually the maintaining pressure of the N2 tank is 60 bar take note that um, to quantify the nitrogen tank we use the ratio of 8, 8 FM200 tank to 1 N2 tank gas container valve also is a 1 is to 1 ratio with the nitrogen as in electric control actuator 
Electromagnetic control actuators are provided to be up with the nitrogen pilot tank. It can also be operated electrically from the detection and control system or remote manual pull station. It is mounted on pilot tank. Electrical control actuators are self-venting to prevent accidental system discharge in the, end, in the event of a slow build slow buildup of pressure in a pilot, pilot line. Electric control actuator has lock pin as in case of emergency it can be operated manually. Also take note that um, it requires a 24 hours backup power source. It also made of brass and requires a 24, vo 24 volts direct current supply and a current of 2 amps. These are the same quantity as the nitrogen tank. Safety valve. Safety valve has been provided in the manifold piping to release the build-up pressure. When the pressure increases over the limit, these valves open and vent the system piping. Safety valve also um, acts as a pressure relief valve in the FM200 system and um, prevent the system for, from overpressuring that might occur. It is also made of brass and a um, pressure rating of 72 bar and um, threaded um, thread of one half inches. This is also the same quantity as the nitrogen tank. Selector valve. Selector selector valves are used to select the specify to the select the specific hazard when multiple hazards are protected by common bank of cylinders. Pneumatic control valve is mounted on selector valve body to operate when nitrogen pilot tank of spe spe specify hazard actuated. It is made of carbon steel and stainless steel. The pressure rating of 53 bar. Selector valve um, can be identified depending on, on the number of zones protected by the FM200 system. These are the table for the selector valve. Pneumatic gas, li pneumatic gas line check valve. Check valve to be provided in pneumatic time for multiple hazard system. Check valve is one-way valve which ensures that the driving gas will go to a specific tank and selector valve to actuate. Check valve is opened at the pressure of 0.9 bar. It, also, it is also made of brass. Um, for below materials, it also depends on the quantity of the FM200 and nitrogen tanks. Discharge pressure supervisory switch. When the agent is discharged in the distribution piping, it pressurizes the switch to operate and give signal to control the panel to give information that agent is released in the piping. It has a operating pressure of 2 bar plus or uh, negative 0 0.2 bar. Material is also made of brass. Yeah, for, for bill of materials, it must be installed in the distribution piping. As and where cylinder brackets. When agent release at high pressure to keep the cylinders firm at their location without unnecessary movements, brackets needs to be provided to keep the cylinders firm at their location. As and where brackets provides frame with cylinder strap with nuts and bolts. This is to ensure that the, um, during um, in the event of fire and FM200 agent is released, the cylinder, so the cylinder tank must not be vibrating. As in wear nozzles, FM200 extinguishing agent is discharged in the hazard area by discharge nozzles. Nozzles are, are designed to distribute the agent within 10 seconds maximum. And it can be also installed pendant or upright. The minimum spacing between nozzle is to be 4 meters in minimum and 8 meters maximum. It is also made of stainless steel. Um, in quantifying the number of nozzle, rule of thumb is 200 pounds per nozzle. 
as in where pre-engineered FM200 tank with cabinet. FM200 tank is stored in a cabinet with all necessary accessories including nozzle. It is pre-engineered as per the area requirement. Um, FM200 tank with cabinet um, is applicable only on the small rooms such in a 3 by 3 meters room only. This is the FM200 suppression system design drawing. As you can see in sample, we have a total number of 4, 4 120 liters FM200 system with a total of 3 zones and 3 and 2 nitrogen gas. Here we are we are required to use a three selector valves as we have a three three zones on a centralized FM200 chemical agent and a vent and flange. Um, in here we also have an um, actuator valve and the check valve to prevent the other chemical from going back to the cylinder tank.